hey guys welcome back to another video thank you so much for tuning in i hope the messages have kept you encouraged motivated and inspired to continue on your very own journey today's word of encouragement is tips for dealing with insecurities please stay tuned What is insecurity? Insecurity is a feeling of uncertainty, a lack of confidence, or anxiety about yourself. What causes insecurity? There is no one cause for insecurity, but some factors that may lead to insecurities are a loss, divorce, or even a traumatic event. One sign of insecurity is a low self-esteem or a very negative self-image. Low self-esteem is thinking very badly about yourself and your abilities. If this is not addressed, it may lead to further problems. Here are a few tips aimed at helping you to deal with your insecurities. Number one. Be aware of your insecurities. I repeat, be aware of your insecurities. What are some of the things that makes you feel insecure? Is it that you think that you are too short, too tall, too fat, too slim? Do you even think that something is wrong with your complexion? You are not popular enough, not brown enough, not dark enough. What are the things that you are insecure about? In order to address your insecurities, you first have to know what causes them. What are the things that makes you trigger? In being aware of your insecurities, you are able to then address each one as they come. Please note, you are perfectly and wonderfully made by God and you are not a mistake. Whatever struggles you have, that makes you feel insecure, you are able to deal with. Remember, practicing self-love is a form of dealing with your insecurities. Number two, letting go of your past. Your past is just a roadmap to your future. What if someone told you you were ugly, you were too short, you were too black, you were not good enough? That does not mean you have to take those thoughts with you in the future. Leave them exactly where they are in the past. Start working on yourself. Letting go of each insecure thought or action or... Letting go of each insecure thought or action that has ever been spoken about you or done to you is a form of growth. It is also a way of dealing with your insecurity. Remember, the past is just a roadmap to your future. Accept yourself. You are God's masterpiece. You are no mistake. You might be a work in progress, but you are no mistake. Accept the fact of where you are and who you are. Do not let social media tell you that you should look a particular way. No, you are you and you are made specially by God. Stop conforming to what social media tells you. This is how you should look. This is how you should feel. No. When you accept yourself, it is highly unlikely that you will feel insecure about who you are. So this is what you are going to do starting today. Look at yourself in the mirror, take a deep breath in and out, smile and look again at the person you see. Tell me, didn't you see a change in that person? Yes, you did. And you are now going to start accepting that person in the mirror for who they are. Remember, 
the only competition you are in is to be a better person than you were yesterday, the day before yesterday, last week, last month, and last year. Practice self-approval. I repeat, practice self-approval. Start writing down all the things that you love about yourself and why it is that you love them. Each day, you are going to wake up and repeat all the things that you love about yourself. That is one form of practicing self-approval. And the final one is shift your focus and accept your growth. I repeat, shift your focus and accept your growth. Shifting your focus simply means start focusing on the positive things that you love about yourself. Remind yourself each day what good qualities you possess and how those qualities make you feel. A part of your growth is also accepting that at one point in time, you did not appreciate something about yourself. However, you are now very appreciative of where you are, the journey it took to get you there, and all the things that you love about yourself that makes you the person who you are. I do hope you found these tips very useful in dealing with your insecurities. Please remember you are a work in progress, God's wonderful masterpiece. If you made it this far in the video and you still have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Also, turn your post notifications on so you will be notified when we post a video. Please stay blessed, be blessed, be encouraged, and be motivated on your own journey. See you in the next video.